To recognize the gentleman from Todd for explanation bill and a motion thereon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will you ask the clerk to report House Committee Substitute 1? Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 360. Gentleman from Todd. Move for adoption. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. General from Todd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 360 is amended by House Committee Substitute 1 essentially does the following. In response to some request from Finance Cabinet as well as Department of Revenue, um, we have modified and clarified some items. Uh, Section 1, contract threshold amounts for finance cabinet increase their threshold so they don't have to seek specific approval on architectural engineering and engineering related fees, Department of Revenue, property tax exemption which would eliminate a one-tenth of one cent tax local and state which was so small in revenue that it was more expensive to administer than, than maintain. Uh, section 5, property tax, tax rate setting, it's not a setting of the rate, but it actually sets the time for which an appeal starts to run for the 45-day 40 day period, no substantive change. Section 6, car rental and ride sharing tax, um, found out after last year that human service transportation delivery, so if there are mobility issues with someone who is transporting another person, uh, those type of services are considered taxis in Kentucky under separate statutory schema. Uh, they would have been taxed. This would exempt the other person. Uh, those type of services are considered taxis in Kentucky under separate statutory schema. Uh, they would have been taxed. This would exempt those services from sales tax. Uh, that was another DOR request on clarification. Section 7, 18, uh, sections 10 and 11, uh, sales tax conforming changes. If you'll recall from last year, we had exempted out certain pharmaceuticals, agriculture related. This would have clarifying language. I think DOR was interested in this also. 12 through 15, sales tax conforming changes. 16 through 18, there's assault pass tax through workaround. Section 19, an update to the reference date for the Internal Revenue Code. Section 20 through 21, restaurant revitalization grants. Those were approved last year due to an error or a mistiming on a date, a misstatement of a date that's being corrected to make sure it applies as we discussed last year. Section 22, recreational vehicles are treated when they're sold in state or out of state, reference House Bill 81. Section 26 and 27, a more favorable way of looking at or a fairer way of looking at how we value multi-unit rental housing for purposes of real estate taxation. 28, deals with a tax increment financing TIF issue that would propose to extend five years on some, if not all, existing TIFs at this point. That's worked out in conjunction with the Cabinet for Economic Development. Sections 29 through 31, distribution of roads fund, road funds. This is a clarification from last year. Um, we're not changing any of the road funds. We're not changing any of the EV taxes. We're simply making sure that any EV tax resulting that would have gone into the road fund is distributed according to the existing formula for state and locals. 33 through 37 are applicable effective dates, emergency clause in section 38. With that, I would move passage. <clears throat> 